What's up guys, Deathwish back with another video today, and due to popular request, we are going to cover Arena today. We're going to do a little bit of an Arena guide, we're going to cover some basics behind Arena, some tips, things like that, some of my um, thoughts and ideas on Arena, and kind of hopefully give you guys a better idea on how to navigate uh, the Arena and how to maximize what you're able to do and uh, ultimately earn in the Arena. So let's hop right over here to the Arena. So what I have done is I have five attacks remaining. You get seven, to pay, well, I say seven, depending on the your level and things like that. So if you're a newer server, you may not have all seven. But seven is the max, plus you get the... Um, for doing the completing all your daily missions, you get one extra ticket, attack ticket, or challenge ticket a day. Um, so, I did learn something interesting. So, as most of you guys know, this is probably going to be kind of old news to you. However, I do want to cover it because I did learn something new about it recently. So, each week at, on Sunday at reset, the arena resets and they come out with new, I guess the best way to call it would be buffs or things like that. So they change which units you can use, which units are disabled, things like that, which units have buffs and things like that. So for this week, for example, the disqualified units in the arena this week include howitzers and super heavy tanks. So in our arena, we can't use howitzers or super heavy tanks. However, where what I did learn that is interesting, and some of you may already know have known this, but I did not, is different servers have different uh, buffs and uh, available and disqualified units, things like that. So it's not like every server. So I'm server 14, for example, right? So this is our particular one this week. But somebody that's in server, say, 25, for example, is going to have different, um, you know, disqualified units and things like that. So I did not know that until recently, so that was kind of interesting to learn. So when it comes to Arena, there's a couple of things to consider, right? So it, it, it an Arena is, I'll be completely honest with you, I don't fully understand the mechanics behind Arena, but what we are going to talk about is how to maximize your potential to be successful in Arena. And what I mean by I don't fully understand the mechanics behind it is because there will be times where I will be attacked or I will attack somebody that is quite a bit stronger than me in terms of their arena power, but and I'll win, but then I'll, I'll get attacked by somebody that's like seven or eight million power less than me, and I'll lose, and I have more maxed officers, more higher level officers, and so it doesn't really make sense to me on that front, so I'm still trying to dig into that a little bit to understand what exactly is causing the, the um, losses to such... Uh, lower power players and, and the wins against quite a bit, you know, more powerful players. Uh, so still trying to work through that. Um, so we may do a follow up video with this at some point, but overall that doesn't really impact what we're going to discuss today. But what we are going to discuss is some things to consider. So obviously you've got to make sure that you've got your uh, the best possible troop set up and that's going to change again week to week depending on what's uh, disqualified, what's got additional buffs, things like that. So. You've got to take that into consideration. You've also got to take in your officers to consideration. And in my opinion, the officers are by far, in a way, the most important part of your arena success, but not only your officers, meaning not only you have level 60 officers and the lead officer spots, which officers you've got totally awakened uh, skill-wise, things like that, but officer placement is so crucial and people do not understand how the how important officer placement is you can have two officers that are perfect together but one of them being it is let's say they're both maxed out on skills both level 60 right but who you place in the lead officer spot is whose skill is going to fire off first they're both going to fire but it's whose fires first and whose fires first a lot of times is going to be the deciding factor depending on which unit it's on things like that so your officer placement is very crucial so we're going to go into and i'm going to show you guys my defensive formation and i'm going to explain to you guys why this is my defensive formation this week so remember that in our particular server super heavies and howitzers are disabled this week so here's what i've got i have got a uh, vanguard heavy i've got a marty heavy I've got a Vanguard Tank Hunter, a uh, Marty Tank Hunter, and then a Marty Rocket Launcher Truck. So the reason I did that is because obviously Super Heavies are generally used as tanking uh, units 
However, they're disabled in our server today, so what I've done is I've placed two heavies, which are going to be my tanking units, essentially. So here's my officer placement. What I've done is I've placed spanner in the leader officer spot and steel fighter in the secondary officer spot. However, once I am able to get steel fighter maxed on level 60, uh, maxed out to level 60 because all our skills are already maxed. I just need to level her up to level 60. In a situation like this, I would put Steel Fighter in the lead officer spot because of her skills firing. She's got that no damage taken every five seconds or whatever it is. Um, and then uh, Spanner, of course, heals. So I would do the no damage, then followed by the heal to maximize... Um, that unit's potential. However, I don't have that luxury right now, so that's kind of what I've got. Why I have paired um, Percy and Winter Huntsman on my second heavy tank here is because Percy has got amazing blast damage resistance, things like that, durability buffs, as well as uh, Winter Huntsman has got great skills, but one thing that I really like about him and why I chose to pair him on my heavy tank is because he has got a damage resist buff. So you've really got to play the officer skill game more than just the general officer game, if that makes sense. You've got to be very, very, very strategic with your officer pairings and where they're placed in the pairings. So that's a little uh, bit of backstory there. Um, just to kind of continue following up through my line here, I've got on my uh, Marty Tank Hunter here on the bottom of the screen, I have got uh, War Machine and I have got Bloody Mary. Uh, the reason I have got Bloody, uh, I'm sorry, the reason I've got War Machine in the leader spot and not Bloody Mary, even though Bloody Mary is maxed on her skills, is because War Machine is a higher level. Uh, my Bloody Mary is level 46, and my War Machine is level 58 or 59, I believe. However, I've paired them together for a couple of reasons. Number one, War Machine, of course, he's got the higher um, load speed, so I wanted that on my Tank Hunter to get more shots off quicker, especially on a Tank Hunter that can penetrate more. Um, and then I've got I paired him with Bloody Mary for a couple of different reasons as well. One of them being she delays the enemy officer skills from firing by a second and also blinds them so they cannot aim for one second. And then she also has a attack damage buff. So I wanted that paired with the load speed boost, especially on the tank hunter for that additional penetration. Uh, I follow it up. I've got the rocket trucks with Antonina and Eruptor. Of course, that's kind of a, a, a given for most of you guys. The Antonina and Eruptor combination is uh, generally seen on the howitzers or artillery units. However, being that they are disabled, I have went ahead and put them on rocket trucks in case somebody wants to go ahead and run infantry or something like that. I can basically pound that into the ground and we can move on. Uh, and then my last unit here is going to be my Vanguard Tank Hunter, um, also kind of a, a given here, but I've got my Guardian of Truth on it because he is a tank officer, and he also has penetration boost, things like that, as well as my um, Adder officer, Death Adder, um, because of his penetration boost mainly, and he offers some durability, things like that. So that's kind of my lineup, so let's go in here, and we are going to start working on some attacks, and we are going to see what we can do. So let's see here. Let's let's go ahead. This guy's number one, so let's see how we stack up. So here's his, his lineup. So he's got an infantry. He's got a rocket truck. He has got a um, anti... A, no, I'm sorry, not anti-tank gun, but a tank hunter, and he's got a heavy. So this is kind of his unit set up. He's number one, so let's just see what uh, we can do here. Let's see if we can win. All right, let's start it up and see what we got. The one thing about Arena, I will say, is the... Lack of ability to actually control your units uh, is kind of unfortunate. I wish they would give you the ability to control units a little bit more. Uh, but nonetheless, it uh, it still does a fairly good job. So let's uh, starting off not bad. We're kind of we're kind of hammering each other out here. Let's see. So he got my first unit out first. So that's uh, let's see. So here we go. This is a perfect example. So he's got infantry. I'm just going to pound that. Try to pound that into the ground with my rocket trucks and see what. Uh, see what happens there so that's okay we're, we're moving on to the his rocket trucks let's see if we can't get those out of the mix here looks like we were able to eliminate his rocket trucks there we go and now we've got nothing but his tank hunters left and those are gone all right we beat him he's number one guy knocked him off all right let's see who we've got next let's see here 
Who do we want? Let's see what let's see what Slam Duncan has got here for us. So he looks like he's got a pretty good officer pairing going on. He's got everything. He he did what we talked about earlier with the um, still fighter in the lead officer spot. That's smart. He's got everything but his secondary officer on the anti tank gun max. So this should be a good fight. I don't know. I personally do not have the tip of spear officer maxed. Uh, I know most people do not. So. Uh, let's let's attack him and see what we've got. I don't know if he's any good or not. I haven't really done any testing, but I do need to. Also, a little side note, I will say this. This is something we haven't covered that I do want to make sure I cover for you guys, is you are able to, and you can do it real easy. All you've got to do is tap on a unit, and you can drag it to any spot you want it. And so when you're attacking, before you actually attack, pick who you want to attack, but before you actually attack, see their troops set up and where they're actually positioned. And then from there you can position and move your units accordingly to make sure your units are targeting. So let's say for an example, he's got an infantry here. You wanna to try to line your rocket trucks up with his infantry on the same side so you can knock them out of the fight a little earlier and a little faster, if that makes sense. So just kind of keep that in mind that you can move units around to different spots depending on um, you know, what, where, where your, your enemy units P troops are positioned so that way you can maximize the damage you're able to deal to them early. The more troops you can get out of the fight on their side early, the better overall. So, so far looks like we're doing pretty good. We are getting ready to knock his first troop out of the mix. All right, that's good. We'll take that. We just got one, one of our troops taken out. Oh, no, we didn't. He's still hanging on by thread, it looks like. All right, we've got another one getting ready to be taken out here. Okay, so we've got, looks like we've got two of his, or I'm sorry, three of his five troops gone. All right, there we go. Should be targeting the last one, and there we go. We got another victory. All right, not a bad start here. Not a bad start at all. Let's see who we want to target next. Let's see what this guy has got for us. Okay, pretty good troop placement. Uh, officer pairings are not bad. It looks like we may have a couple more maxed officers than him, but looks like he could be a good opponent. Let's go ahead and see what we've got going on here. So he's got infantry lined up in the middle there. So I've got my rocket truck somewhat lined up in the middle there. So I'm going to keep those how it is and see if we can't target those right away. Knock those out of the fight as, as quickly as we possibly can. So here we go. Let's see what we've got. There we go. I'm starting to, as you guys can see, the uh, health bar on his infantry is getting just absolutely walked down very, very quickly. So that's uh, got him out of the fight there really early. So that's that's great. He is doing some damage here on the bottom to my, it looks like, my uh, heavy. He is kind of pummeling that into the ground a little bit. All right, so we have got his second troop gone. This is this ended up to be a good fight right here. So let's see. This may come down to the wire, to be honest with you. So we've got his second one there gone. It looks like we're going to close in on his last troops, which is his rocket launchers here. Let's see if we can go ahead and hammer those out. And there we go. We got another, another victory. So we've got a few more attacks, but we're going to go ahead and wrap the video up here so we're not just aimlessly kind of wasting time here. However, that would be my biggest tips. Make sure your guys' officer pairings are... are um, you know smart make sure they're strategic really take into consideration don't necessarily follow the um just status quo i guess is the best way to put that don't do what everybody else is doing really take the time to see what you know the arena uh, disqualified units are the buffs are things like that make sure you try to utilize those each week to your ability the best of your ability and really take the time to learn and study each officer and their skills and, and, and really take into consideration um, what they can do for you, right? And so let's say you've got an officer. I'm going to give you an example real quick here, and this will be the last point that we're going to make. So for on some weeks, right, depending on what's allowed and what's disqualified, things like that, I'll run infantry. So what I do is I, I generally try to put Percy on who is generally used on like an artillery or an anti-tank gun, right, or uh, a tank. But depending on if I'm running infantry, sometimes I do put Percy on infantry units, which is not very popular. You don't see that a lot. But the reason I do that is because of her, um, her uh, durability and her blast damage increase, right? So when they're, the infantry troops go into their bunker, Right? If I can have blast damage resistance and durability, that means I can keep them in the fight longer, things like that. So really try to think outside the box when you're, when you're, when you're competing in uh, the arena and as well as what your officer pairings are. Because officer pairings are, like I said, by far and away the most important part 
of arena success, in my opinion. So really take time to, to kind of read and study and understand all the officers and all their skills. And uh, one last example I'll give you is my nurse here, right? We were just talking about infantry. I'm going to use this again as another example. Even though I don't have her maxed, what I do, and this is, I don't, I'm not really focusing on her anymore. This is what I did in the past before some new officers got released, right? But I was working on her, uh, maxing her skills out, and one of, I've got her healing skill, her first skill, almost maxed out, but I've got her second skill, which is bla uh, damage resist, completely maxed out at level five. So even though she is not maxed, a couple of her skills are pretty far ahead. So I can use her and she's still a benefit to me. So that, that's what I mean by really take time, the time to learn, understand, and, and take into consideration all your officers and where their skill levels are at, um, where you've been able to upgrade them to because they can help you. Even if they're not maxed, they can help you as long as you place them on the right units and in the right spots. So hopefully that gives you guys a little bit more of an idea on arena. Um, so yeah. If you guys have any questions, let me know in the comments below. I'm happy to help. Like I said, um, uh, I've reiterated a couple times, but officer pairings are crucial. Keep in mind you can move your troops and really take time to study your 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 um, enemy unit formation before you actually attack. Don't just click their name and click attack and then just run into the fight, right? Really take time to see where their units are placed at and adjust your units accordingly. Like oh, All you got to do is tap on your unit and drag it to whatever spot you want. And it's easy as that, and that can help you a lot and, and really be a deciding factor in your success in Arena. So hopefully that helps. Like I said, if you got any questions, let me know, and I will catch you guys on the next one.